Hi students, today what we are going to do is an experiment with fiber optic cables. So here is the manual. So it says the measurement of numerical aperture of optical fiber. Now in this experiment we have to use something like this. This is a fiber optic cable and this is the outer layer which is like uh, plastic or rubber plastic I think and then inside it if you look carefully inside it there is this fiber and this fiber actually constructed in a way where it has two concentric um, you know uh, cylinders going in one is the outer one is called the cladding and the inner one is called the core and outer one the cladding has a lower refractive index and the inner one has the higher refractive index and the fiber optic cable is used to transmit uh, data using light and so this part will be attached to a transmitter and this part up, you know uh, after a long long distance this part will be attached to the uh, receiver where the data would be interpreted. Now, when the light gets into this fiber optic cable, then it really matters how much actually the light can get in the optical fiber. The efficiency should be really, really high. So, there is a quantity called acceptance angle, meaning uh, what is the angle that it can accept the light if you go beyond that angle so it's like this is the cable and then there is a cone an angle right so there is this angle if you put your source from where the laser is coming out within this angle then only it can efficiently transmit the light now this acceptance angle whatever is there in the uh, input side is also same as whatever in the output side so in this measure in this experiment what we are going to do something like this here is the numerical aperture the numerical aperture is related with the acceptance angle like numerical aperture is equal to sine of i m i m is this acceptance angle and then because we can or as the input goes into the fiber optic cable comes out in the similar fashion so we can use this fact that whenever the light is coming out of the fiber optic cable we can calculate this circle at a particular distance which is the outer rim of the light laser light and then from here we can actually calculate the numerical aperture and so this is the derivation of it and this is very simple uh, geometry uh, tricks that you have to do so this is the setup and now let's go to the real experiment setup here is the laser source this is how much this is a uh, of course helium neon laser so you will get a very high intensity red light out of, uh, uh, out of this laser source and it's only 2 milliwatt maximum uh, output so it's not that much you can put your hand it would not do any harm but during the experiment you should be really careful that this light never comes into your eyes so that's one of the important precautions so, now what we have here is the light gets into the fiber optic cable through here and then it transmits and then comes out here what you have done here is this that we have already uh, placed some uh, concentric circles and then what we have to measure is the radius of the circle for a given distance between this plate and this circle uh, and this uh, output end now we'll change the distance by moving this one back and forth and we'll be able to measure the uh, Mm, uh, the aperture angle uh, sorry uh, the mm, acceptance angle by uh, changing the position of this and taking several data 
and yeah so th that's what we'll do now here because light is there during the experiment the whole uh, room will be made uh, dark and that's why this black thing are there around so th that you no know, light also comes in from the outside and when we switch off the light then you will be able to see the laser light which is coming out really intense which may not be apparent at this moment because there are uh, you know lights all around us okay so that's a very simple experiment in short in this setup we have a optical fiber which is used to transmit some data using the light which is the laser the laser comes in from this input end side, comes out of that side. Each optical fiber has a particular property called numerical aperture. And this numerical aperture is related to the acceptance angle, which is like whenever the light comes out of the optical fiber, it, it makes a, it, it spreads out and you can place on this, uh, you know, plain paper in the form of a circle and then you can do some geometric tricks and calculate the numerical aperture using the formula that I showed you earlier and now the data needs to be taken by changing the distance between this end and the plate and that's it okay so then I will show you uh, how it looks when it is really dark okay you would not be able to see me but you can see earlier it was not that much bright now it is really really bright so you can actually uh, measure the uh, how much it was spread using those concentric circles and changing the distance between the output end and the uh, graph paper okay so that's it um, that's all about this experiment thank you